This is the second part of a three-part video on ways that you can leverage Oracle Apex to handle Excel calculations online. And so in our first video, we had a table called Team Stats, and we showed you how to calculate batting average inside of an interactive report. Um, the particular formula we used to start with was right here. Just hits divided by add bats, rounded to three decimal places. So clearly you can do the same formula in a query. What we're going to look at today uh, is something called a virtual column. Virtual columns are relatively simple. They've been around for some time in, in the Oracle. Um, in this particular case, we're going to add a column to the table called average. And the column is going to be based off a calculation, uh, in this case, the same one we just ran above for hits uh, divided by at-bats to three decimal places. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And now if we come back and we query the table again, we can see that the average is calculated just on the fly, uh, directly as part of the table itself uh, when the column is queried. Now this is really useful for a number of Excel calculations. Uh, in the case of the baseball example, uh, we could look at on-base percentage and slugging as well. This is, uh, these are those calculations test running, uh, and we can likewise add these as virtual columns as well. It's fairly quick to do this. And once it's done, uh, even if the data changes, hits, at bats, base on balls, um, this will be dynamic in nature, just like you would see uh, in an Excel spreadsheet. Now, last but not least, as you look through this, you might say, oh my gosh, it doesn't have the trailing zeros. Um, right now, we're using uh, these calculations. We want them numeric um, for, for a number of reasons. But there's a simple fix if you want to, to make it pretty in your report, just like we saw in the example one. So you can see here, uh, that'll just add the trailing zeros with a simple mask. Now this works great, uh, virtual columns work great, uh, but what happens if you need to do a calculation like OPS in baseball, where OPS is calculated or derived from both the slugging and the on, on base percentage, right? So we can run a query and calculate OPS on the fly, you know, super, super fast. Uh, but if you go to create a virtual column uh, off other virtual columns, like you see here, uh, you're actually gonna get an error. This isn't something that uh, you're able to do with the virtual column, but have, have no fear. Uh, in part three of our video, we're gonna keep building in complexity and we're gonna take a look at uh, how to use functions uh, in conjunction with what we've done so far uh, for calculations like OBS.